those lines look miserable. All right, we are done with Alberta. We had our last uh, advisory issued at 4 o'clock. It is now just remnants of, but still a lot of rainfall. South Texas, but more so across much of northern and central Mexico. That will be an ongoing issue with inland flooding with the landslides, very mountainous terrain in northern Mexico. So that will be a continued issue, but South Texas will still get uh, plenty of rainfall as we are still overall getting that broad kind of rotation around Alberto drawing in that tropical moisture and that broad overall rotation still has kicked up the seas along the northern Gulf Coast and still some ongoing wind issues with regards to some coastal flooding, although improvements on the way. You just heard Eleanor in Venetian Isle saying water is receding. Well, they're now approaching their low tide, high tides tomorrow, and it will still be an issue tomorrow, but no one under a warning now just an advisory well, high tides generally for a lot of our eastern facing shorelines mid afternoon. As far as Grand Isle, Venice, uh, Boothville, Port Fouchon, high tides there are early mid morning, so around 8, 9, 10 a.m. So that'll be the worst for our coastal location, south coast, eastern coast. It will be at its worst tomorrow afternoon, and then the advisories will be lifted uh, by 6 o'clock tomorrow. We are out also watching two areas in the tropics for potential development. As we are done with Alberto, the Next one up that we'll be watching kind of close to home may try and develop this weekend in the Bay of Campeche, but it does look like it'll be moving right into Mexico. Not something that they want to see as it will likely be a big rainmaker and also Invest 92. This one was highlighted yesterday. Notice both of these features are not going to be impacting us. In fact, 92 looks like it's going to move toward either the Jacksonville area, Savannah to Georgia, and then get kicked away. The one that will be more of an issue for Mexico and possibly even South Texas will be not an invest right now, but a wave that will be bringing in heavy rainfall. For us, though, most of the next several days look relatively dry. Here's a visible satellite imagery. It does look like there is close circulation with our little invest here. So if we can get some thunderstorms around the center and increase those winds, we may see our next name storm. Again, that's assuming that we see a little bit of an organization to it before it reaches land. Then notice an upper trough moves in and kind of kicks that back out into the open Atlantic. So this one does not look like it's going to be getting into the Gulf. The one that will be down to our south is not coming anywhere near us. Winds inland still breezy, but not as strong as they had been yesterday. So that also good news for our coastal flooding.